<laughs> you know what sucks? Getting old. And you know why it sucks? Okay. Nine years ago when I was wiped out in that car accident and I was gonna die, everybody thought for about three months that I was toast. I had a 15% chance of pulling out of it. But I did. And what was cool about that is I, you know, I didn't die technically. I Technically, I did die, but everybody says you had a near-death experience. Whatever, dude. I saw myself laying there and all that. So whatever happened, happened. I know it. But, like I said, what was cool about that is that I did not stay dead. And that I got to talk to a lot of friends that I hadn't spoken to in years so since then I've lost like 20 friends but like eight really close ones and this is stupid I'm getting tired of it but it's life and I'm glad I have the knowledge that I do about after this otherwise I would be freaking out all the time Anyway, so I just found out a, <clears throat> another old girlfriend of mine, look, last year, almost to the day, a old girlfriend of mine, Tiffany, she was shot and killed at her ranch down uh, south. And I'm like, what the, you know, because we were kind of dating and what, it was a long thing because her husband was killed like five years earlier and she didn't want to do a date or do it. So I'm like, that's fine. It's cool. Just let's be friends. And then it, and then that happened. So I'm like, Pfft. anyways, I get online today and someone's trying to tell me that another girlfriend, you know, she was like a, it's a short cause she was a fan of the band Fatal Attraction, and I met her like that. And uh, her name was Desiree, but she's calling herself Desiree. Her real name was Therese. And uh, she called me after the accident, and said, oh, I'm so glad you didn't die, this is good to go. And we had a long talk about prescription medication, because she was on a lot of it. And I said, you got to get off of that crap, because it's going to kill you. I don't know what happened, but she passed away apparently a few days ago. I just found out that stuck. So I was getting ready to do uh, this song, and I just really don't feel like it. So I'm going to take the aggression out on this poor guitar. But uh, that's it. So if it's a lot of like thrashing and noise, that's why. And. On a lighter note, uh, my subscribers on YouTube, I looked at the uh, number today, and guess how many I have? 666. I'd play the song, Number of the Beast, but I don't know it. I know it on bass, kind of, but I know the guitar song. So there you go. An old friend passed away. She had a family. I don't know if she was with her husband still or not, but she had kids and everything. And this just sucks for the kids and her and her whole family. I mean, this, it sucks. And my, you know, and everybody goes, you know, my prayers go out to you. Like, you know, you're not praying for them. You're praying for the family who's left behind so they can get through it. The person who's gone isn't suffering anymore and there's your lesson for today <laughs> I teach Sunday school but now I only teach it once a month so you get that's your Sunday school lesson for the year or whatever until I say something else but there you go life so uh, I can't even remember what I was gonna play so I'm just gonna start jamming okay okay <laughs> Thank you. 
did that there you go see Rawr. keep rocking oh and there's guys like dude you should set up a thing and get a light show under it okay there's your light show I got it already it's taken care of it's just the family pictures in the background don't set the mood I get that but what am I gonna do I've been thinking about putting up some kind of screen so just black or, or whatever I might that's very noisy of you. Please be quiet. But look at I got remote control lights. I have all of my amps. There's four guitar amps and a bass amp sitting all lined up here in the living room. TV's right there. Couch. It's the perfect situation. But I get the whole setup. I get it. So I can't remember. The, the guy that actually owes me the book with my flyer. Um, <laughs> good idea. I've got all of it taken care of. I just need a background. And if, well, when I move most all of this 
to my other where I'm going to live, then I'll just have a room dedicated to that. But right now, I, I don't. I have a room filled with guitars, but there's not enough room to film in there. And this is the best one, because the camera just sits there. I just upload it right to my computer. I don't even have to touch the camera. See, it's all perfect. Metal! I'm talking too much. Later! <laughs>